Hi there, my name is Taro Iwamoto. I am a Feldenkrais practitioner, and I am guiding you through a Feldenkrais awareness through movement lesson today. And before we begin a lesson, and please have a firm pillow or a stack of small towels nearby for your head support as you might need it. I have three tips so you can get more positive experience from each lesson. And tip number one, move very slowly. And tip number two, move within your own comfort range and don't push and don't strain. And lastly, tip number three, be curious and have fun. So with that, let's begin a lesson. Let's start on your left side. And make sure you have uh, your head well supported so you're not, uh, your head is not hanging down in the air. Okay, make sure you are comfortable. And for the next 15 minutes, you're gonna be doing a lesson on your left side. But if you get uncomfortable at any point, and feel free to pause the video and then you can just rest on your back or any position that is comfortable for you. So, on your left side and bring your legs up a little bit so that it's not straight. Okay, so the knees and the hips are flexed. And you can have your right hand on the floor in front or if it is more comfortable for you to just have your arm rested on your side and that works well too. And it's going to start with a reference movement and begin to roll uh, gently, very gently, and roll your head to the right, slowly. And don't go as far as you can, just go to a comfortable range, and then come back. And what I'd like you to notice is, um, and pay attention and notice the quality of the movement and turning the head. As you turn your head to the right, and how smoothly does your head turn to the right? Where does it stop? And uh, the participation of the movement, and where is the movement coming from? And just to pay attention, where do you feel the movement is coming from? What part of your body is moving and participating in this movement? Maybe two or three times, and just enough that you notice the quality of the movement, and this is a reference movement. And then at the end of the lesson, we'll come back and then we'll do this reference movement again. And then so you will notice a difference from the beginning to the end. So with that, and pay attention to your right shoulder, okay, the one that is on top. And what I'd like you to do is uh, slowly move your right shoulder backwards. Not too far and then bring it to the returning and return to the starting point and repeat this movement and very slowly and very gently then as you do that movement and then notice the movement of the shoulder how does the movement and how is your right shoulder moving? And can you feel the shoulders clearly that it's moving back and then returning to the starting point? At the same time, as the shoulder, your right shoulder is moving backwards, and what else is moving? Can you feel? And can you feel any movement of the shoulder blade? And can you feel any movement of your chest? And if you shift your attention to your neck and what you do with your neck and notice what you do with your neck. Do you hold your neck place in place or does your head or does your neck participate in the movement? How is it moving if it is moving? And 
And is it possible to invite your neck also to participate, invite your head to participate? As the shoulder moves backwards, can you allow your neck and head also turn to the right? And then as the shoulder returns to the starting point, and then the neck and the head also returns to the starting point. So that you can sense and feel the connection between your shoulder and your neck and then the head. And pause. And you're going to take your right hand and then place it on your sternum somewhere on your sternum and can you feel the sternum with your right hand okay don't press gently rest your hand on top of your sternum so you can feel the bone of your breastbone uh, the breastbone with your right hand and then what you're going to do is you're going to gently with your right hand and gently guide your chest to turn to the right So the chest turns to the right and then using the right hand again and bring the chest to the starting point. And keep the motion very small and keep the speed very slow. You don't really need to use a lot of force and an effort to turn your chest. And can you simply just uh, let go of whatever it might be holding and to allow the chest to very easily turn to the right and then return into the starting point. So with your hand, just to feel the movement of the chest. Chest is turning to the right and then the chest is returning to the starting point. And, and also, can you sense the connection of the chest with your neck and your head? So what happens to the neck and the head? And also, what happens to the shoulder? As you turn your chest, with your right hand and can you feel what happens to the neck, what happens to the shoulder and what happens to the head. As that connection of between those bones become a little more clear in your awareness and can you allow the neck and the head and to participate in the movement. So the neck and the head and also turn and follow the movement of the chest. And notice your breathing, by the way. How is your breathing? Are you holding your breath? Are you breathing in your normal rhythm and the pace? If you're holding your breath, it is possible that you are working a little too hard. So pay attention. And if you're holding your breath, and maybe you want to reduce the amount of movement, or the effort, range of motion, or you move a little more slowly so that you can continue to move without changing your breathing pattern. and pause. Now you're gonna take your right hand and put it on the side of your right ribs. Feel the ribs with your right hand 
and then gently you're going to guide your rib cage to turn to the right using your right hand very gently not too far and then return it to the starting point and notice the movement of your rib cage and also the relationship between your ribs and your chest so what happens to the chest as you move your rib cage to the right And can you notice that uh, your chest is also turning following the direction and the movement of the rib cage? If you're holding your rib cage, uh, holding your chest from turning, and can you simply just move a little more slowly, and then can you allow your chest to turn? And as the chest turns, and what happens to the neck and your head? And notice all the connection, the whole connection from your ribcage and chest and in your neck and in the head. And can you feel how that movement flows from one area to another? So then everything kind of moves in continuously. And it's how the head is turning as a result of moving your ribcage and turning your ribcage and rest. And put your right hand on your right side of the pelvis. And you're going to guide your pelvis to turn to the right with your right hand. A little bit, not too far. And then bring it back to the starting point. So notice the movement of the pelvis. Notice the movement of your spine too, your lumbar spine. And can you feel the turning taking place as a result of guiding the pelvis to turn to the right? The spine is also turning and following the direction of the pelvis. And how far through the spine can you sense the turning taking place? And also notice the chest, your rib cage. How are they moving? Are they participating in the turning? Is the pelvis turning and it's the turning of the pelvis and inviting the turning of the rib cage and your chest. And what about your neck and in your head? Is your head turning? Is your head turning because you are turning or you are trying to turn your head or is the head is simply following what's happening to the pelvis and then the hips? So just to notice that whole connection from the pelvis, spine, your chest, your neck, and in your head. And stop and rest. And remember the reference movement we did in the very beginning and gently turning the head and to the right. So go ahead and slowly do that again and turn your head towards the ceiling. And notice the difference in the quality of the movement. Has the range increased without really making an effort? What has changed? What about the participation of the movement? Can you sense more of your body parts and yourself are participating and the movement of the turn in the head. And sense the movement of the chest and sense the movement of your rib cage and your pelvis as you turn your head.
So that's it on this side and you can take a little rest and then you can switch to the other side and go through the same sequence. Okay. Can you imagine that you just move yourself, more your body parts into the movement of the head? So start paying attention and see if you can apply this lesson into your everyday life. Thank you for watching and participating. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and discovered something interesting and then helpful that you can apply to your everyday life. You can find more videos on my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, you can contact me through my website. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.